Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of FinTech Fridays. I am joined today by a long time, not an old friend, a long time friend, Rich Gagliano. Rich, thanks for joining me. Thanks for uh, having me, Brian, and happy holidays to you and, and your followers. Right on, right on. So uh, you've had a busy year, man. <laughs> we have. We have. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we, um, Black, Black Knight uh, acquisition of ICE. Uh, it's been a couple of years in the making for us, <clears throat> but in September timeframe, uh, we finally got the deal done. We carved out the uh, Dark Matter team uh, as, a, as a separate business as part of uh, the uh, FTC requirements. So uh, as part of that deal closing, you, basically the origination technology division of Black Knight uh, had to be spun off and uh, find a new home, which we have. And uh, we're with a great uh, organization uh, and partner with Constellation Software. They have about a thousand uh, software companies that they, they own and, and manage, but they really don't do the managing. They allow right. the businesses to, to run them and lead them. And, uh, and they've been great. So, you know, we're an independent uh, business right now and uh, we're looking forward to uh, a full, year under our belt in 2024. So we had uh, the Empower product, which is our flagship uh, loan origination system. You know, we, we tend to be in the mid, lower uh, end of the market as far as volume size goes all the way up to the to the large lenders. And, uh, right. and our AVA product, and that's our artificial intelligence capability, uh, which has a suite of uh, several products that sits under Ava and what she's doing for us. Let's, let's talk a little bit about that. It's like, uh, you know, you can't go on a technology podcast and not talk about AI, right? So let's maybe, yeah. maybe for the audience, give it ex a couple examples on some of those tools that sit inside of that, that Ava product suite. Sure. Sure. So we, we've been on the uh, artificial intelligence journey for over six years. We acquired a company six plus years ago, Name Heavy Water. We're headquartered there in uh, Philadelphia. <clears throat> so we've been at it for a long time. And we do multiple things with Ava. Ava uh, is the persona, uh, but she does uh, multiple things. Uh, we initially started out with uh, doing and focusing on uh, data extraction and data classification of documents. So our, our whole thesis has been uh, that we can drive that cost out of uh, the origination process if we can eliminate all the manual work that goes in there. So we've developed uh, this concept of uh, exception-based processing. We don't want users touching things that they don't need to, but being able to see and validate uh, that the answers are correct and, and really push the work to the humans that, that they really need and, need to, and it needs to be looked at. So Ava's got that component. We have a regulatory component under her. Um, so along with the regulatory piece of it, we've got an AI component. Uh, we've got what we call uh, the AVA Assist products. <clears throat> so they are um, essentially a sense of assistance. Um, so, you know, you've, you're starting to hear a little bit about uh, assistance. We've been working on it for a few years, but essentially think of the underwriting assistant as that really support, you know, capability that's sitting next to that underwriter and it's bringing the underwriter the work uh, the things that they need to look at, showing and proving that certain things are good, that you don't need to spend time looking at it. And as they need to access things, bringing it to them. So that's the concept with the assistance. And we have a, a closing assistant, a post-close assistant underwriting, you know, so we're we're covering the, the process. We have not got done in front of uh, the loan officers. We don't know if they really want or need it. Um, but, you know, we've gotten a lot of great feedback from uh, lenders on the the assistant products. So a lot, a lot of work there, a uh, really great team out of Philly. Um, and it's a really fun topic to talk about. Oh yeah. There's, I mean, there's so much more to come in that space, right? It's, we're just it, literally scratching the surface. We have, we probably have a list, honestly, of a hundred plus different projects that we'd like to go work on. You just, there's just not enough uh, hours in the day and, human beings to go work on this stuff. But, you know, I think the good news is um, 
we really are driving towards automating this uh, process, you know, focusing on originations. And, you know, uh, we need it badly in this industry, uh, as you know, Um, you know, as a fintech company yourself, you know, you know, we think that automation, artificial intelligence and digital partners um, that we create essentially an ecosystem of everywhere electronic and data, uh, electronic data we can get, we want. But when we don't have and we have those uh, PDFs and uh, those kinds of documents, we want to still be able to interrogate them and move them along without, you know, bogging down humans looking at, you know, pay stubs and W-2s and those kinds of things. So, yeah. Something that comes up on a lot of my conversations that I have on on this uh, this podcast is, um, you know, the fear, the human fear of technology and AI replacing me, replacing my job, replacing the value that I bring, you know, in the process. How do you guys balance that, that human fear and reality with really what we're all trying to do? Yeah. You know, I, you know, I don't foresee really the, the drop in uh, head count or eliminating jobs. I think it's making people more efficient Uh, and honestly pushing them towards, you know, better customer contact and care um, and less on, you know, manhandling, you know, you know, which essentially were paper pay stubs and documents. And, you know, that assistance really driving and helping that processor or underwriter. But, you know, ultimately they're, they're the ones that are going to say, yeah, we're, we're good. We need to move on. I think it makes them more efficient. I think it drives down the cost, you know, the more efficient being you're going to be able to handle more in your pipeline and uh, instead of doing 25 or 35, uh, you know, as a processor, you know, you're doing 50, 60 um, is the use cases that we're, we're starting to see. So, uh, but yeah, I, I you know, I, we really don't view it as a, a reduction. You know, lenders are always looking for capacity. Processors, yeah. underwriters, clo- th- those are all, you know, specialized skills that you don't just bring in and show how to do. It takes years and, uh, and they're important assets. Uh, that you want to support and uh, and maintain uh, as opposed to try to eliminate. So um, we, we, this conversation so far has been really focused on the process and, and, and the lender's side of the, the transaction, if you will. How do you guys think about the end consumer uh, as it relates to your product and the technology and what you're enhancing and what your roadmap encompasses? Yeah, no, that's a great question. You know, as we sat here for the few minutes and talked about the the operations piece, which which needs a lot of attention, so does the front end piece. And so we've done two things in that area. One for the loan officer, what we call a loan officer digital. So it's it's a specialized you know UI user interface um, that you know only they interact with. Um, we haven't added uh, any AI components to that yet. And then on the on the origination side, we think about our point of sale and what we're doing there. And again, we're trying to make it easier for the borrowers, make it easier for the lenders, um, and getting these loans closed as fast as possible. And so we've uh, we've introduced and introducing a couple of pieces. You know, we have uh, a new avatar, uh, so it's got the Ava name in there. But uh, so we're we're starting to push out avatars uh, that will help borrowers through. Uh, generative AI capabilities that we have built with large language models and chat GPT and BART, all those pieces and bringing them together to help one answer questions for borrowers. Uh, but the probably the more impactful piece is, you know, the follow-up components to it. So again, as a, if I owe you a pay stub and you, we haven't gotten it, the system can identify we're still waiting on it automatically with, you know, the, the, the permission of the processor, you know, so it's processor. We think we need to send a, a, a follow-up to this borrower. We send it to them, <clears throat> bring them back to the portal. Uh, and then they interact with uh, avatars uh, or they can, or the human, but um, yep. you know, and then it's really trying to get them and moving them along, but a lot more touch human and digital uh, we think helps get them through uh, the process. You know, our goal is we're not looking to, uh, eliminate uh, loan officers, but our goal is to be able to uh, originate a loan without having a human I- intervene. 
uh, which yep. is a tall order, as you know. The you know origination uh, loan applications are complicated; they're very hard, and borrowers get nervous. And so that's the kind of the use case we're trying to tackle. Uh, and we're not, I wouldn't say we're there or even remotely close yet, but that's kind of where yeah. we're driving towards. Uh, I'm super curious how you, because uh, that's a that's a big thing to tackle. Love it. Um, you, you and I have been at this in this industry and at this for quite right. a while. So it, a lot yeah. of people have been uh, kind of pursuing that, you know, that end goal. In as you guys are uh, thinking about product enhancements and, and consumer experience, like, do you actually bring in real consumers to to help you think about like? Like, you know, younger millennials, older Gen Zs, they think differently than older millennials and certainly Gen Xers, right? So I'm curious how you bring in like real people to to, to get, you know, to test and get feedback. Yeah, no, a, a great question. And uh, it's an interesting topic too that we could probably spend a show on. Um, but yeah, we do. And there are um, very different views of how to utilize technology. Um, and interestingly, even in that Gen Z, where they're kind of moved back from less technology, uh, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, and what we've been trying to do is get that feedback loop so that we can create, uh, at least initially, a, a, a flow that all borrowers um, can get through. You know, but I think over time, what you're, uh, what I think you're leading into is, you know, there may be different flows for different types of borrowers in terms of uh, how they want to interact. And, you know, yeah. and there's some really cool stuff um, that you can do with that. Again, by interacting and answering a few questions, we can we can actually drive the, you know, make sure that you have a, as great of a process as you can, at least, you know, for taking an application, which, you know, is not necessarily a, a fun thing to do, but, you know, make right. it as positive an experience as possible. Uh, another another question, it's more forward, you know, forward leaning, forward thinking, you know, as I as I think about our business at Finlocker and certainly how consumers engage and interact with our technology and how we, uh, how we have, how we see their, their direct source, you know, consumer permission, direct source data. Um, we're, we're probably not that far away from a world where all of us are walking around, you know, with our financial thumbprint or QR code or financial DNA. You hear everybody talk about it in different terms, but, That's right. uh, you know, today the mortgage application process is a, an information gathering process, right? At, at some point sooner than later, we're, we already have most of the information that's needed to assess somebody's ability to, to pay. And now it becomes less of an information gathering process and more, of an information sharing process, right? It kind of inverts itself. And I'm just curious how you guys think about that in, in you know, and I think it, it, it kind of fits in that having different avatars. Someone may have to start with the yeah. full in a, in, you know, interrogation versus somebody that has yeah. their, has their, their stuff in order and they're ready to share yeah. it. Yeah. We're thinking uh, very much alike, you know, we think about, uh, the folks, you know, there's a lot of folks out there that are, you know, afraid to use, uh, put their online credentials in and, you know, and, you know, we, we would make their lives a lot easier uh, from a, a process perspective if they would yeah. do it. Uh, but, the, you know, I think that goes away with time, but the younger generation, you know, will adopt and has adopted is what we've seen. And the more we can do that, uh, the better. And then, you know, part two of that is, you know, really d driving assistance. You know, I, I've always believed that we're going to sub call this, stop calling this a phone at some point and call it our assistant uh, because yeah. as time goes, it's going to do more and more things for us. A phone will be just one of, you know, many yeah. things and probably the less, least powerful thing that we have. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we want the, the same thing to be a, a, a part of that origination process so that the borrowers have uh, those helpers and assistants that get them through the process. And they don't, if they want to talk to a human, they can but they could also get every question answered without having to interact with the human. Uh, and then, of course that drives down, you know, the cost to originate. And I think you, well, you're going to have people that are going to want to, you know, take their application with Brian and Brian's going to, you know, do you know, the traditional method I'm, you know, and you, you're going to be the same way. We've been around for a long time. We know how the process works and 
we just I just want to get the thing done and you right. know i don't really need any yeah and so you know i want the, the the what's the path of least resistance and the fastest way to do it and i i'm confident that when i put my credentials in that it's secure um and, and all those things you know i don't worry about those things and you know right. that'll come with time as, as more you know, industries are starting to, you know, will do that same thing where, you know, there's that electronic passing of information. We, we shouldn't have to ask. We should right. just be able to put put some credentials in and, and go grab it. And um, so I, I think that we I think we'll see that, you know, I, I agree over the next few years uh, and before you and I say, uh, you know, we're done. <laughs> I do think we'll 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 see uh, a lot of improvement and, uh, you know, and uh, a better process around that. Yeah, we're definitely in agreement there. So my my last question, this is the fun the fun question. Well, okay. I could, I could ask some fishing questions, but that's too easy for you, so I won't yeah. do that. I know yeah. you're an avid avid fisherman. Um yeah. dark matter technologies. So like what was that process of of coming up with that brand, that 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 product, that name uh for for the for the company and the product? Yeah, so uh I'll take uh the blame for it. it. It was one that, uh, that, uh, I came up with. We, we worked on, you know, honestly, uh, 18 months, uh, trying to come up with a name cause we have known for a very long time that we were going to get, uh, carved out. Um, and, uh, it actually didn't come up with the name until really close to closing cause we were under pressure. Um, but, but dark yeah. matter, the, 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 the idea with dark matter is dark matter is everywhere. Um, and what it, the importance of dark matter is it helped evolve and form the universe. And uh, they call it dark matters because it can't be detected by light. But it's a very important thing uh, in our universe and how our universe has evolved. Um, and, you know, so it's the backbone uh, of our universe. And we think of um, our, you know, solutions and what we're doing as being that backbone for that lender. And so, you know, uh, and we thought it was a, uh, just an interesting name, uh, you know, oh, yeah. uh, to begin with, but it, it really fit into what we were, um, what we were trying to do and our philosophy around, you know, just innovating, executing and taking care of our customers and our employees. And, um, you know, we thought that that name was, uh, after a lot of discussion, <laughs> uh, that, uh, we thought that that represented, uh, what we wanted to be, uh, the best. So I love it. That's, uh, yeah, that's there's a more cool... to it. I, you know, there's a piece around that uh, gives you super superhuman strength. Um, if you're into the comics and some of those things, gives you, right. uh, uh, you know. So, you know, there's a, a piece of that. But anyway, we again, we did uh, a lot of your your, your show uh, talking about it. But it, it's uh, uh, it's been good. It's been well received uh, by our clients yeah. and new prospective clients. So, uh, which we were happy about. Well, there's some there's some cool stuff you can do from a from a brand awareness and marketing, you know, perspective, you can go all over the place with it, which is cool. Yeah. 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 That's, you know, we, and that's a lot of what we talked about and, uh, you know, it, okay. Being a little edgy and, uh, and having yeah. fun with it, you know? So yeah, we have some really uh, smart folks on our team that are, uh, that are working, uh, actually came with us. You know, we moved, uh, 1300 people over, uh, from, uh, black Knight, And we also yeah. moved over our India, India operation came with us. So, um, yeah, and we, we've got some really super strong, uh, creative that we didn't see in the black Knight world, uh, cause it's just different deal and, yeah. uh, versus we unleashed, uh, some talent that honestly, I've, I've just been so impressed by him. So, well, that's, that's, that's cool to see. And I'm, I'm enjoying watching what's coming out of the team. Um, uh, super pumped that you, uh, you were able to join me here today. It's been a, a long time coming. Uh, yeah. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, congratulations on on everything, and uh, looking forward to uh, to great things in the future from the uh, the Dark Matter team. So, Rich, thank yep. you so much for joining me today. Yep, thank you, my friend, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, thank you. All Thanks right, everybody for coming in, and come back next Friday for our next episode. See ya. All right.